I'm just sitting on this point up here, hoping something gets pushed to me. It's one of it's a decent play for the opener, but after the opening warning, the success rate of this play right here goes way down. So I'll be after him in the timber a little bit, but wanted to try this move, this little pinch point for the first day. But holy cow, it's cold, it's bitter. You can tell by my eyes. I did not sleep enough, but it's good to be back on the Utah, Utah OTC. It's gonna be a fun week, so let's go try and punch a bull tag. Good morning from a very cold mountain once again. So I uh, took the last couple days off, let it snow. This camera's gonna die, but I'm back here again. Snowed a bunch, hiking in these trails and looking for tracks. So we'll see if we can turn out some bull stone today. Uh, I'll hope to switch the battery out in this camera so you guys can follow along, but I look really cool right now. All right, you guys, so I walked all the way out of there. Um, never did get into any elk, but then um, I got out of there and there was a guy stuck and I helped pull him out. And as I was stopped helping pull him out, my buddy Donnie stopped and he's like, dude, I just glassed a big bull and calf. I was gonna go after him, but my truck's having problems. So I'm gonna go to town. And he told me where they were. So I now am headed in as fast as I can go. It's a long push over there and it's only like two hours till dark, maybe three. But I'm gonna haul butt and see if I can't get over and get on this bowl before it gets dark. This spot's really sketchy with the snow. I had to walk clear in to the trailhead. The road's so lousy, but um, there hasn't been anybody in this way today. So oh, cross my fingers that this works out. But I got like a three, at least three mile push across here, so I gotta hurry found some elk There's like three or four bulls 10 to 15 cows they're right on the border of the private but as of right now I just checked scout to hunt now in public so I gotta just haul butt for another mile and then I can drop on them should have like a three to four hundred yard poke with old Betsy the fence to the private they're 40 40 yards on private come on come on there's at least four bulls there a six point and some rags they need to come up here but i don't know why they would maybe there's another bull over here that will come down to him but i'd have to shoot him like right Guys, we got one more shot at this. We came out into a spot that very hunted very little, but pull off and glassed, and there's a bull and cows in the burn right here. So they're like 500 to 1,000 yards right now. We're gonna see if we can pop out. Last day, muzzleloader, let's go. Heard it hit. Okay, hit him again. 
Is there another spike in there? Oh, there's a big bull. Did you hit the big bull? No, I shot the spike. Shoot the big bull. Shoot the big bull. How far? Uh, like 100. Shoot the other spike. Here, let me so finish your spike. Yep. Is it ready? Hang fire. I didn't even look at that big bull. As soon as I saw that spike, I was like, wow. We'll go to the next edge and kill that big bull. I smashed him. Yeah, he hit him hard. He's still standing right there. Got an ammo. I dumped half my powder on the ground. That's cool. Here. Yeah, let's get up to him and kill him. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Go, buddy. They love that gun. We kill them no matter where. This is the 33rd day I've hunted this year for elk, and this is the first bull I've had in my crosshairs that I can legally shoot. This is the last day. We came out on a last ditch effort, and I got so focused on the spike bull when we walked in that uh, I didn't even get you the five point. <laughs> it was with the, to me, a spike and a five point, they're both just bulls. We're just trying to kill bulls on the open. So the elk are still going up the hill. Rocky took a poke and shot a little low. Um, a long ways off with the muds, but we're just gonna be stoked with this one. Got it done. Crawled up, belly crawled up over the hill to 100 yards. I don't know how far it was, I guess 100. I held that on him and whacked him right in the shoulder. And he bopped around for a minute. He was dying when we got up and put one more in him, but I cannot believe that just happened. We're leaving for Colorado tomorrow morning, our season, our Utah season. This is the last day, and I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. I'm so glad that we did. Look at that bull, buddy. Look freaking foaming out the mouth. Good call. Oh, he's a deuce by. <laughs> Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Oh, he's a deuce by. Just like my last spiker. That's the first shot right there. He was quartered to me, and I just pounded him front shoulder. And then uh, we got back up on him, and I put one in his neck. But that's right where I was aiming. I mean, how far did I shoot him from? 170, 170. And I was dialed for 200, so that makes sense. But freaking stoked. As soon as I shot and heard it whacked, I'm like, I cannot believe it. We're freaking in business, baby. So we're gonna have, it's gonna suck, honestly. <laughs> Getting it out of here. Bad. I've never even hunted elk on this unit before. Rocky came out here yesterday and he saw our tra tracks from this herd, presumably. And we were just trying to find them and we glassed them up before, right before they ducked over the hill out of the wind. And we were able to, I mean, we stalked in from a thousand yards and got to 170 and put the smack. So I'm super excited to not be eating this tag and to be keeping my numbers up on the open bowl. Crazy, dude, that's crazy. We're so freaking lucky. Now I don't have to buy a bull tag for Colorado because I got a full freezer. I still might, but. That's what it's about, folks. Open bowl, baby. Yes. Oh, Troy.